The South Korean capital is famous for its culture and the people's devotion to traditions, the history of which dates back thousands of years. At the same time, today Seoul is an advanced Asian metropolis, and the contrast of antiquity and modernity gives it its unique, multifaceted appearance. The combination of incongruous things is also reflected in the numerous sites of Seoul, industrial technological structures coexist with centuries-old palaces and temples, atmospheric historical streets contrast with colossal multi-level road junctions. When choosing what to see in Seoul, it is difficult to stop at just one thing, so the following excursion will help you get acquainted with the most significant places in the city. What to see first in Seoul? The many-sided Seoul is extremely rich in attractions, and choosing what to see in Seoul in one day will be a very difficult task for those who want to comprehend the city in all its beauty and grandeur. However, there are a number of tips on where to start getting to know the city in order to get into its spirit from your first travels. 1. Jaeyongbokgung Palace Entrance to the central part of Jaeyongbokgung Palace through the Hyung Gate Perhaps the most beautiful of Seoul's palaces is the Jaeyongbokgung Royal Palace, built at the end of the 14th century during the Joseon reign. As a result of Japanese attacks, the palace was destroyed twice and rebuilt again, and today continues to delight visitors with the originality of its architecture. The size of the palace is impressive, in total there are about 300 buildings and about 6,000 rooms. Nowadays, it is a real open-air museum, where you can visit a picturesque throne room, a number of thematic museums and an amazingly beautiful park with an artificial lake, the water surface of which is covered with a blooming lotus. 2. Changdeokung Palace in Jeongjong Hall, throne room of Changdeokung Palace in Seoul. The architectural ensemble of this palace is distinguished by the fact that its appearance has been preserved since its construction in the 15th century, despite the fact that it suffered more than others during the Japanese wars. Of course, it was subject to restoration several times, but thanks to the painstaking work of Korean craftsmen, it retained its authentic appearance. It was here that the residence of the last emperor of Korea was located until his death at the beginning of the 20th century. The palace is spread over 58 hectares of land at the foot of the mountain. On this territory there is a delightful garden with centuries-old trees, and in the very center there is a beautiful pond with places for walking and relaxing. 3. Changgaeonggung Palace The territory of the Changgaeonggung Palace complex against the backdrop of sunset. The next palace on the list of the best attractions in Seoul is Changgaeonggung, the older brother of the city's castle buildings, built in the early 12th century. For many centuries, it was used as a place of rest and entertainment for the royal family, the name of the palace, meaning unbridled fun, speaks for itself. Around the palace there is a picturesque park with gazebos for relaxation and pagodas, visitors to which can not only enjoy the splendor of the landscapes and palace architecture, but also witness one of the many festivals, carnivals, or performances that are regularly held on the territory of the complex. 4. Deoksugung Palace Deoksugung Palace, surrounded by a powerful wall, in the center of Seoul. More modest in size, unlike its counterparts, Deoksugung Palace is very symbolic for the townspeople, and this is connected with the sad events of the 19th century. It was here that the emperor lived at that time, under whom South Korea ceased to be an independent state and turned into an occupied territory. The monarch was hiding here from Japanese spies who killed his wife. Within the walls of the palace there is a working museum, the Royal Museum, which exhibits a collection of objects from the Joseon era, as well as works by modern Korean painters. 5. Jaeonghegung Palace Palace Buildings of the Imperial Villa, Jaeonghegung in Seoul The review continues with one of the most beautiful palaces not only in Seoul, but throughout South Korea, Jaeonghegung. The picturesque mountainous area on which it was built further emphasizes the beauty and splendor of this place. The complex was built in the 17th century as an additional residence in case of any unplanned events, the emperor could at any time enter the palace grounds from the neighboring Deoksugung Palace via a specially laid bridge. The events of the Japanese war did not spare Jaeonghegung either, 
it was destroyed and rebuilt several times, and currently only a third of the original ensemble remains. On the palace grounds you can stroll through the park or visit the Seoul History Museum. 6. My Eongdong Shopping District A large number of shops, stalls and restaurants serving Korean cuisine in My Eongdong Seli are Seoul. Guides in Seoul will certainly introduce you to the most important shopping street of the city, My Eongdong. In a small area of 1 square km there is a dynamic center of Seoul life. One can only wonder how such a number of shops, benches, Seoul hotels, cafes, and shopping arcades could fit into this small square. This place is not focused on tourism, and that is why here you can discover the true Seoul, in the hustle and bustle of the daily life of its inhabitants. Walking through the shops and malls of My Eongdong, you can find products aimed at completely different incomes. The same applies to catering establishments, where you can have a quick snack with inexpensive pancakes or a luxurious lunch in an expensive restaurant. 7. Guangjiang Market Shops and stalls at Guangjiang Market in Seoul Kars Alfrink Another famous shopping place in Seoul is the Guangjiang Market, which you can visit not only for shopping, but also for fun. Its colorful shops and shops, of which there are about 5,000, contain the largest amount of clothing and fabrics in the city, as well as souvenirs and vintage items. This is where you can buy traditional national clothes, lush wedding dresses, the most exquisite expensive fabrics and high-quality bed linen. The other part of the market is reserved for food and cafes, where you can taste a number of national dishes. Some of the most popular local dishes include rice pancakes with beans, meat, or vegetables, Korean dumplings, rice cakes and sweet liquor. 8. In Sedong District In Sedong District, a pedestrian street and popular shopping district in Seoul Mario Sanchez Prada. It's worth mentioning one more place where you can go in Seoul as part of your shopping trip. In the heart of Seoul is the In Sedong Shopping District, consisting of one large and several small secondary streets. Once upon a time, this quarter was inhabited by especially wealthy people, this has been the case since the Joseon era. Later, as a result of Japanese colonization, wealthy Korean nobles went bankrupt, and shops began to appear on the streets of the quarter, selling valuables from ruined houses. Since then, trade began to gain momentum, and today on the streets of the quarter you can visit a number of cafes, antique shops, and spontaneous markets where unique handmade products are sold. 9. Bukchan Village Traditional Korean houses in an alley of Bukchan village in Seoul Republic of Korea. In the heart of the South Korean capital lies a traditional settlement whose structures are so beautiful and authentic that the place is more reminiscent of an open-air museum than a village. Nevertheless, this is a real residential area, and its cozy one-story houses are still inhabited to this day by people whose lifestyle is radically different from the lifestyle of a metropolis resident. It is especially unusual to observe this spectacle against the backdrop of the high-rise modern buildings of the city, soaring into the very skies. The fabulous atmosphere of the settlement encourages you to wander longer through the narrow streets of the village or stop at one of the local cafes with home-cooked food. 10. Chonggaichen Chonggaichen Stream with Park and Tiled Banks for Walking in Seoul James Mason Hudson one of the points of the excursion in Seoul is worth devoting to Chonggaichen Park, opened in the city center not so long ago, in 2005. Its entire 8-kilometer territory stretches along the stream of the same name, the paths are paved with paving slabs, and the path is decorated with several unusual fountains. For example, there is a two-cascade fountain, a waterfall fountain, a rhythmic fountain and a tunnel fountain. This oasis, located in the jungle of the metropolis, is especially beautiful in the dark, when the mesmerizing lighting turns on along the entire length of the stream. In addition to the fountains, there are 22 bridges of different designs across the stream along the entire route, and there are also several thematic walls painted with numerous autographs. 11. Chongguadi Presidential Residence Official residence of the President of South Korea, Chongguadi, Blue House, Humor Ahead 01. The famous Seoul Blue House is one of the main symbols of the city. It got its name from the delightful, 
rich emerald blue hue of the roof. Each piece of tile for this roof was cast to order, and the smooth curve of the roof symbolizes the beauty of the state and its harmonious unity with nature. The palace is located on a large area of the old garden, which was laid out during the Joseon dynasty. The lush greenery of the trees alternates with the fragrance of countless flowers. Inside the residence there are premises such as the main office, guest house, spring, and autumn pavilion. 12. Jagi Isa Temple The grounds of Jagi Isa Temple in central Seoul Francisco Anzola. The country's most important Zen Buddhist temple is located in Seoul and is called Koji Isa. This important landmark of South Korea was created about a century ago on the initiative of the Koji Order, which today owns more than one and a half thousand Korean temples. Jagi Isa is a large ensemble of several buildings, the central one being Tunjong, impressive with its enormous size and decorative Tanshan paintings. In addition, there are many other objects on the temple grounds that deserve attention, such as two old centuries old trees, Buddha statues in the hall of the Tunjong building, or a multi tiered stone pagoda with holy relics. 13 Bongyunsa Temple 28 meter stone Buddha statue of Bongyunsa Temple on the slope of Mount Seudo in Seoul. The ancient Buddhist monastery is located on the slope of Mount Seudo, just a few hundred meters from the bustling civilization of the metropolis. In a matter of minutes, covering a short distance from the center of Seoul, visitors seem to be transported several centuries ago or even find themselves in another dimension. Despite such close proximity to civilization, not a single sound disturbs the idyllic harmony of this place. The temple building itself is very ancient, it dates back to the 8th century, and is a classic example of Korean architecture. Of course, not all the buildings of the temple have survived to this day, much was restored, but it was brought to a form as close as possible to the original. 14. Jungmyo Shrine Jungmyo Shrine Building, built in traditional Korean style, in a park in Seoul. The shrine was founded in the 14th century, at the dawn of the Joseon dynasty, and has long served as a royal shrine. For many centuries, traditional burial ceremonies for Korean emperors were held here, royal ancestors were commemorated, and rituals of sacrifice to spirits were performed. All these traditions appeared precisely in the Joseon era, but centuries have passed since then, the politics of Korea and the form of government have changed, and the rituals of commemorating the dead are still observed, and the sanctuary itself still retains its historical and cultural significance for the state. 15. My Eongdong Cathedral View of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary on My Eongdong Street in Seoul. This is another important attraction to visit in Seoul among the city's shrines. The cathedral was built in the 19th century in a laconic neo-Gothic style, so the facade of the temple looks very modest against the backdrop of the colorful walls of ancient sanctuaries. Christianity in Korea suffered persecution for a long time, but by the 19th century the government began to treat this religion more loyally, which allowed one of the Korean bishops to begin the construction of a Catholic cathedral. The temple is very young, so it does not have a large collection of valuable artifacts, but within its walls are buried the relics of martyrs, supporters of Christianity who were subjected to persecution. 16 Republic of Korea War Memorial Military equipment of various times in front of the War Memorial of the Republic of Korea Richard Gould. This museum complex was erected as a tribute to the brave Korean soldiers who gave their lives in various wars over the years. The monument was unveiled in the 90s of the 20th century in the historical part of the city. On a huge area of 20,000 square meters there is an open-air museum, several thematic pavilions, as well as memorial walls on which the names of heroes who distinguished themselves in military operations are engraved. The open area houses military equipment from different years. The exhibitions in the thematic halls are distributed according to different eras and events from the history of South Korea. 17 National Museum of Korea Facade of the National Museum of Korea in Seoul S.J. Yang The National Museum in Seoul is a very large-scale project, included in the top 10 best museums in the world. Its history began more than a century ago, 
when the Korean emperor decided to open a museum collection at Changgyeonggung Palace for his subjects, and later the collection was supplemented by a collection of exhibits from the Japanese museum. At the end of World War II, the country gained independence and organized its own national museum. The museum collection moved several times until a spacious building was erected for it in Yongsan Park. The area of the museum is huge, about 137,000 square meters, and the number of exhibits exceeds 200,000 items. 18 National Folk Museum of Korea National Folk Museum of Korea on the grounds of Jaeyongbokgung Palace surrounded by nature. The recommendations of this article would be incomplete without mentioning another important attraction, the National Folklore Museum. This place is simply irreplaceable for those who want to get to know the life and traditions of the Korean people, visit the country's centuries-old past and see where certain customs began. The museum is located in one of the buildings of the Jaeyongbokgung Palace complex and houses a collection consisting of more than 90,000 exhibits. All of them are distributed in three thematic halls, the first tells about the history of the people and the development of their culture, the second talks about the way of life of the people, the third talks about the centuries-old traditions of the people and the role of religion in them. 19 Seoul Arts Center This institution, also known as the Art Hall, is a large-scale exhibition complex where various cultural events are regularly held, opening days, exhibitions, theatrical performances, and much more. In total, on an area of about 15,000 square meters, there are several halls with stages for performances by artists, as well as halls with various cultural exhibitions, for example, a gallery of modern art, a visual art archive, an audio and video archive, a documentary archive with various printed publications, a museum with a collection of handwritten hieroglyphs, as well as a multifunctional design center. 20 Trick Eye Museum Visitors take photos with exhibits at the Museum of Optical Illusions in Seoul Republic of Korea. The next point in the rating is a unique museum of illusions, not at all like other museums, there are no great works of art here, but there is a place for real fun and entertainment. The museum exhibits seem to take the visitor to another world and another dimension, where the physical laws familiar in everyday life do not apply. All paintings in the exhibition are made in 3D style with optical illusions, this makes visitors feel like they are part of each presented plot, where they can touch the elements of the images and immerse themselves in the painted world. The illusion effect itself is achieved in each of the paintings through the competent use of perspective. 21 Leoam, Samsung Art Museum Giant spider sculpture in front of Samsung's Liam Art Museum in Seoul Salasasaki. One of the most prominent museums in Korea was created with the sponsorship of Korea's largest electronics magnate, Samsung. The exhibitions of the museum, opened in 2004, present an impressive collection of national cultural treasures. The museum complex includes three buildings with completely different architecture, each of which had its own architect. It is worth saying that the external design of each building corresponds to the theme of the exhibition presented inside it. For example, the gallery dedicated to the country's history and ancient artifacts is designed like a medieval fortress, while the gallery of contemporary art has a futuristic facade. 22 Theater Nanta In fact, there are as many as four theater branches in Seoul, and each of them has several acting troops performing throughout the day. Nanta Productions are unusual theatrical shows with musical accompaniment, based on musical compositions, most often performed on kitchen utensils. Right on the move, a group of talented actors improvise to the beat of national music, all this is accompanied by various deaf techniques, somewhat reminiscent of circus art. Numerous reviews say that such shows are a breeze to watch, and humorous moments can be understood even without knowledge of the Korean language. 23 Rainbow Fountain Bridge Night view of the Rainbow Fountain Bridge in Seoul It is already difficult to surprise a modern traveler with a beautiful fountain, so many wonderful water creations have been created in different cities of the world. But the Korean masterpiece Rainbow Fountain will probably not leave any visitor indifferent. 
Nowhere else in the world can you find a spectacle of similar beauty and scale created by man using water jets. Over a distance of 1.1 kilometers, hundreds of streams of water burst out of the nozzles located on the canvas of the Panpo Bridge, describe a huge arc and fall into the Han River. In the evening, the bridge turns into a truly fabulous structure lights turn on along its entire length, coloring the jets of the fountain in different colors of the rainbow. 24 Iwa Women's University Students on the grounds of Iwa Women's University in Seoul Nam Ho Park This institution can rightfully be called an important landmark of Seoul, because Iwa University is the world's largest women's university. The history of the university began at the end of the 19th century, when the American missionary Mary Scranton began teaching medical subjects to Korean girls at home. So, a little over 20 years later, a women's college was founded, four years later the first doctors of medicine were graduated, and since the 70s of the last century, this institution has reached the world level. Today the university strives to enter the top of the most prestigious universities in the world, famous scientists and world-famous award winners give lectures here. 25 Seoul Tower Seoul Tower on Namsan Mountain at sunset The modern symbol of Seoul is its colossal television tower, almost 500 meters high. At its very top there is an observation deck, the best place in the city from where you can admire the amazing city panoramas. The tower is located on top of the 237 meter high Namsan Mountain, which gives the structure even greater height. Inside the tower, an exciting journey begins already from the first level, there are a large number of cafes and souvenir shops. The tower has a total of five levels, but you should definitely end up on the highest of them, here, at a dizzying height, there is a rotating panoramic platform with a restaurant. Sights of Seoul, what else to visit in Seoul? Memorable places in Seoul are very numerous, they, like an inexhaustible source, leave the best impressions of getting to know the city, even if the trip is not made for the first or second time. And even if the main attractions of Seoul have already been explored, there is still room for other, no less interesting ancient and modern monuments, cultural and entertainment events. The top continues with other Seoul attractions, photos with names and descriptions of which are given below. 26 Dongdaemun Design Plaza Building the futuristic shape of the Dongdaemun Design Plaza building illuminated by Nestor Lakal LEDs. The Seoul Exhibition Center, which opened in 2014, is a true masterpiece of modern architecture in a futuristic style. The building, with an internal area of over 86,000 square meters, externally resembles a huge spaceship, with smooth, elegant shapes and a silvery facade. Inside, the space of the center is divided into several above-ground and underground levels, and all the interior spaces, smoothly flowing into each other, are decorated in a single light grey-brown color scheme. Particularly noteworthy are such premises as the Art Hall, intended for major exhibitions and fashion shows, the Historical Arena Museum and the Design Laboratory with unique designer products. 27 Olympic Park Made of reinforced concrete, the gate of peace on the ground at the entrance to the Seoul Katai Olympic Park. The construction of the Olympic Park in Korea was timed to coincide with the Olympic Games held in Korea in the summer of 1988. Numerous objects from the Games have survived to this day, becoming valuable and memorable attractions. On the vast territory of the park there are a lot of cultural and recreational facilities and other interesting places that deserve attention. There are museums, memorials, gyms, and health centers. A visit to the Olympic Park itself is a whole sports and educational event, everyone can jog through the area with ups and downs, rent sports equipment, or make an educational tour of the park's establishments. 28 Lottie World Amusement Park Indoor Skating Rink at Lottie World Amusement Park in Seoul Kitai One of the largest indoor amusement parks in the world is located in Seoul, right in the heart of the city. This is a huge area for entertainment for children and adults, where, in addition to a complex of attractions, there is a year-round ice skating rink, a museum, 
a shopping complex, a cinema, a lake, souvenir shops, and many other entertaining areas. In addition to entertainment and walks, you can witness performances and regular festivals here. All buildings and decor of the complex are made in the style of the Middle Ages, this creates an atmosphere of comfort and fabulousness. The complex even has its own hotel, which is located near the park. 29 COEX Aquarium Entrance to the COEX Aquarium in the shopping and entertainment center of the same name in Solopspe. On the ground floor of the COEX Shopping and Entertainment Center there is an interesting attraction, the largest oceanarium in Korea, occupying 1.3 thousand square meters of area. The shape of the huge aquarium resembles a tunnel that runs literally above the heads of visitors, creating the perfect immersive effect. In addition to the giant main aquarium, the aquarium features 90 other aquariums. The entire observation area is divided into thematic sections, for example, sea inhabitants, sea predators, Amazon forests, etc. Therefore, in addition to the inhabitants of the deep waters, you can find birds and even polar bears here. 30 Bukonsan National Park Landscape of Bukonsan National Park in Seoul City Limits In the northernmost part of Seoul is the Bukonsan Mountain Range, the natural pearl of South Korea. This area has been a national park of the same name in Korea since 1983. Once during the Joseon Dynasty, the massif served as a city border, and now this place has become incredibly popular among tourists and avid climbers. Although this mountain range does not have an impressive height, about 850 meters above the sea, its peaks offer incredibly beautiful views of the city and its panoramas. The area within the reserve is replete with historical monuments and various artifacts, and there are also 14 hiking routes developed here. When planning a trip to Seoul, you should carefully plan your future route. After all, once on these lands, you can unwittingly get lost in the revealed diversity of ancient and modern architecture, wonderful parks, monuments, and entire historical areas. The city of contrasts, traditions, and the latest technologies, antiquity and modernity will be remembered for its ancient temples and futuristic buildings, cherry blossoms, countless entertainments, walks through the most beautiful natural corners of the city, and souvenirs from Korean craftsmen will long remind you of the priceless moments of getting to know Seoul.